The Night Princess and Mr. Clean Written and illustrated by Zoe Carter The Bible is a great big library, 66 books in all, some are big and some are small. Books about the past, books about the future, letters, poems, stories that are true, and all of the books are from God to you. Mummy Armadillo gave baby Armadillo a bath to wash her armour before she put her to bed. Mummy, why do I have armour? asked baby Armadillo. Armour keeps us safe. Let me tell you a story about the armour God gives us. The cloaked figure used a crane to lower a castle to the ground. He had the perfect costume and the perfect wig so that Princess Victoria would never guess who he really was. Victoria arrived at the castle on her way to the mountain. The door of the castle opened. Well, hello there. My name is Mr. Clean. Welcome to my castle. Would you like to look around? But why are you wearing that dusty breastplate? asked Mr. Clean. It's the breastplate of righteousness. It covers me up with goodness, she answered. It keeps me clean. Cover you up? Keep you clean? What do you have to hide? sneered Mr. Clean. You're not covering up any dirt, are you? I am not covering up anything, Victoria cried indignantly. I do not have any dirt. Look, I can prove it to you, she said crossly, and she took off her breastplate and threw it on the ground. It rolled out of the castle door. Much better, said Mr. Clean. Come this way. Mr. Clean took Princess Victoria on a tour of his castle. She bent down to smell a flower. But then she saw she had left a dirty handprint on the vase. Her hands were covered in dirt. Victoria was horrified. She quietly excused herself to wash her hands. She turned on the taps. She used lots of soap. She scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. But no matter how hard she tried, she couldn't get the dirt off her hands. There was only one thing for it. She needed to escape quietly before she was caught. But Mr. Clean was waiting for her outside the door. I knew it, cried Mr. Clean. You have dirty hands. And there's only one good thing to do with dirt, he sneered. It needs to be cleaned, he cried, and he whipped out the biggest feather duster she had ever seen. Take this, take that, he roared as he brandished the duster. Ha! I've got you now, he cried as he scooped her up from underneath. He flicked her high into the air. And she flew out of the window, surely to fall to her death. As she fell, she remembered the king's promise that help would always be given when she needed it. So she asked him. When she opened her eyes, she found that she was no longer falling, but she was sliding. She slid round and round a great water chute until she splashed into a pool at the bottom. She found her breastplate. She took it off the statue. She put it back on and she climbed out of the pool. When she had her breastplate of righteousness on, her hands were clean again. She carried on her journey towards the mountain to meet her father. I'll get you next time, hissed the cloaked figure. What happens next, mummy? asked baby armadillo.
I'll tell you the next part tomorrow. Good night. Sleep tight. Thank you.